Hi, this is Jonathan from Fitness for Freedom. We specialize in giving you in-home workouts, so that means workouts that you can do in your home. Today we're going to talk about the single leg Romanian deadlift, or the single leg RDL as some people call it. The single leg RDL is a good exercise for your glutes and your hamstrings. A lot of people do squats or split squats to target their glutes, but this is by far the best exercise that you can do, and if you've never done a single leg RDL, I recommend you try it if you're looking for a more shapely bottom. So to, to do a single leg RDL, you take the weight, hold it in front of you. Uh, you're going to hold the weight in the hand on the same leg that's going in the air. That's important because it makes it easier for you to not twist. So the less you twist your hips as you go up, the more you'll feel it in your glute. So to start the motion, or to start the movement, lift your leg first. And as you lift your leg up, keep your back flat and let your body come forward. And basically go as low as you can, sorry, go as high as you can with your leg, and your upper body doesn't go any lower than that. So if you can't lift your leg up any higher, your upper body doesn't go any lower. A common mistake that I see people make, which is very bad for your back, they'll go like this, and lean forward first, and then they'll try to lift their leg up. Okay, that's one of the worst things that you can do for your back, and you should not do the exercise that way. The other mistake I see people make, is they lift their leg up, and they try so hard to keep their upper body upright, that they just lift their leg and they really hyperextend their back, which is also really bad for your back. So if you really want to target your glute, stay as flat as you can. As you go up, you can keep a soft bend in your knee and try not to rotate your hips. So try to keep your hips as square as you can. Now, as you can see, you and I have a little bit of trouble keeping my hips square, which makes, which makes it a really hard exercise to do. So if you have any more questions or any comments, just leave them below. That's Jonathan from Fitness for Freedom, and thanks for watching.